Hey, future respiratory therapists, another disease process here for you. Today we're talking about CHF, also known as congestive heart failure. You got to understand what it is and some key terms that will point you into recognizing congestive heart failure and then how do we treat it. So here we go. Let's dive into it. First of all, when we say congestive heart failure, we're talking bullet point one, left ventricular failure. The left ventricle is tired because it's been trying to perfuse and push against a system that is overloaded for too long. So you will eventually see hypotension and a drop in blood pressure. Okay. Now two, the second point you'll see and the second term you need to associate with congestive heart failure is pedal edema. Pedal edema is when gravity dependent zones, which is usually the lower extremities become swollen due to this failure to adequately be able to the left ventricle to adequately be able adequately be able to perfuse systemic circulation so you'll see this leaking of fluid out into your gravity dependent zones which is your lower extremity so your ankles will become swollen and may present as pedal edema now the third thing is is when this backs up into the lungs this will present as pink frothy secretions Okay, dead giveaway. Patient presents with pedal edema and pink frothy secretions. You know immediately you're talking about pulmonary edema, most commonly congestive heart failure. Point number four is when we look at our chest x-ray, what will we see and how do we know we're talking about pulmonary edema associated with congestive heart failure? And the most common thing you'll see is either a bat wing appearance or a butterfly appearance. And then the key terms is when they state curly B lines. So bat wing, butterfly wing appearance, or curly B lines are all associated with key radiological findings associated with congestive heart failure. Now, how do we treat CHF? Simple, three points and only three points. One is Lasix. You got to get the excessive fluid off the patient. In the meantime, while we're giving Lasix and and diuresing and getting this fluid off, we're going to focus on positive pressure. So CPAP or some sort of some sort of positive pressure therapy and we're going to focus on oxygenating our patient. So Lasix, CPAP, and oxygen. CHF left ventricular heart failure will show up by pedal edema and pink frothy secretions because of the backing up of fluid into the extremities first and into the lungs second. It on a chest x-ray it'll present with bat wings or butterfly wing appearance and curly B lines and we treat it with Lasix, CPAP, and oxygen. Hope this helps guys. CHF wrapped up in just a short few minutes. Let me know what you think.